I do not envy the next person that's going to follow that. Well, never mind, it's uh, the groom over here. Yeah. speak in three languages when I cannot avoid it. I'll speak in Goluo, my ancestral language. The people who followed the river Nile, following the spirit from the Mediterranean to the lake. Sorry for the interruption. And so I'll speak that Dolua, the beautiful language of my grandmother and my grandfather. 
I'll also speak in Swahili, the first language I ever spoke, born in Tanzania, Mwanza. And also speak in English, a language brought by ship by the British colonialists. And the one thing that unites Leah and I, I wrote a speech, but uh, I don't know, it's still in the rough form. First, I'd like to thank the spirits of God for such a beautiful day that we have been able to share with you. Clear skies, the sun smiling upon us. Mount Rainier out to see what we are doing here tonight, this afternoon. I don't think we could be more grateful for a beautiful day. I want to thank everyone who's been on our path in this journey. About two and a half years since I met Leah. It has been profound, I must say, but you know, it's only relationships that are meaningful that will have ups and downs. I think we'll be lying to ourselves if we say that our relationships don't have problems, and it certainly is not one. It would be kind of utopian. Everyone aspires for that. I'd like to thank Marianne. Thank you so much for someone to open our door to us here. We were right here on Friday, I believe, or Thursday. And I'll quote, Marianne said, this house was meant to be lived in. No spill, no spot, no scratch will cross my mind. I don't care about that. I've given you this place because you're close to my heart and I want to share it with you. And that's the same thing we've extended to all of you who are here, close friends and family. We are really grateful, Miriam. Thank you. Asante sana. I'd like to thank, I'd call it the committee. that mainly communicated on text and Skype and uh, Messenger. The wonderful ladies from New Zealand, Marini, Juliet, Krista, and all those who put their effort, their time, Our lovely caterers. Why are you smiling? What happened? I think I'll be done with that beat. I was supposed to have written a poem for this day. I've prepared for three months. I'm an amateur poet, but I've been unable to write one for this occasion. I couldn't just find it. There was no motivation enough. And so this morning I just scribbled something pretty rough. Leah Houghton, the shy girl from Havelock North. Nyar Jolueng. Nyar Mara. The daughter of the warriors, the daughter of my mother-in-law, Nyarichula, New Zealand, the beautiful lady from the islands of New Zealand, Nyar Alfred Lakta, the daughter of Alfred the doctor, 
in Yarnav, in Chiramogi, in Yarluo, in Chichualego. You are now the wife of the lake. You are now belong to the Ramogi ancestry, the great ancestor of the Luo people. Now you are a Luo wife. Now you are the wife of the Alego people, the great land that has produced Obama. You belong to that lineage now. Some day in June, I was lying in hospital bed at the head of the hospital, my first day of chemotherapy. I had non Hodgkin's lymphoma. I had been given six months to leave. Incidentally, I had a good doctor. But that afternoon, I recall I was there with Leah Horton. And in all that confusion with different flashcards coming through your mind and your life at that moment, I didn't know what chemo was. I was going to take it as it came, one day at a time. And I asked Leah one simple question. I didn't expect an answer that day. And I asked her, would you still marry me even if I'm going to die in six months? That was the moment, and that's the reason we are here. She said yes, and that does take some courage too. Leah, I thank you so much. I love you so much for the ups and the downs, the smiles. For the cat. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> For everything we share, night and day, morning and evening. I want to thank you for now being a mother to my children, Keith and Donald and Dorothy and Brenda, those beautiful girls and beautiful boys. Janet. And Janet. I love you. That's all I've got to say. And thank you all the way.